devour, devour. I have to warn everyone, warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. What's going on everyone? Phil here for the first episode of DSP Tries in a very long time. Fast food, fast food, right? Hopefully I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> And happy Halloween. The reason I'm doing an episode of DSP Tries is because something special has come out this year that finally in the year of 2018 I felt warranted a new episode of DSP Tries. And ladies and gentlemen, I direct your attention to the sandwich in front of me called the Nightmare King from Burger King. Now if you're not aware what this is, this is a burger and it's a chicken sandwich. It's both. If you remember a few years ago they had a gimmicky burger around Halloween that had a black bun. Well, this one not only kind of followed up on that, but also kicked it up a notch by having two kinds of sandwich in one, all right? Now, to forewarn everyone, this is a very expensive sandwich. This sandwich was over $7 at my local Burger King just for the sandwich. So we're going to see firsthand here if it's actually worth that amount of money and what I actually think about it. So first of all, here it is, and I'll be honest with you guys, it's not super heavy. Like, I thought it would have been a lot heavier. It's not, it feels about the weight of roughly about a Whopper. So honestly, I don't know what exactly is worth $7. And I guess we're gonna see as we open. As you can also see, the wrapper itself is green. Like, like uh, Frankenstein, right, for Halloween. So we're gonna actually open this up and see what we see. Oh my God, look at this, so. Oh, I wanna fuck her brains out. I have no fucking self-control. Wow, so what I'm seeing is a green bun that looks like it's very shiny on top, okay? Uh, it almost feels a little sticky to the touch. I don't know if it's glazed or something. And as we remove that top bun, we've got mayonnaise and onions on top of that bun. And then you've got a small fried chicken uh, breast. And what I'm assuming is that this is the same chicken that would have gone on their, their regular chicken sandwich. Under that, you've got two pieces of bacon. Cannibalism. I love the red meat. All right. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. That, it's, it's disgusting in my opinion. Like, I'm actually disgusted. A single piece of cheese and some kind of a burger. Now, that's not the burger that goes with the Whopper. I believe that's the, the Big King burger. So you get one of the Big King patties on this Nightmare King sandwich. Now, taking a look at the bottom, I'm just curious if they put anything at all on the bottom. No, very plain. So essentially what you're getting is one Big King patty, two pieces of bacon, cheese, mayo, and a chicken breast with some uh, onions on top. Not really necessarily like blowing me away, especially because there's no special condiment or something on here to bring it together like I thought it would have. Um, honestly, this looks to me like it's gonna be dry, right? Like, look, it's all dry. There's very little, little bit of mayo on top. I don't know. I guess, I guess I'll give it a shot again. Doesn't really, the bun doesn't really smell, so I don't know what it tastes like. I guess we're gonna find out. All right, here we go. Devour. Devour. Wow. Well, ugh. The first thing I can tell you, salt. That's all I can taste is salt. Oh! Don't you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? Over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. <laughs> 1,800 milligrams of sodium. All I can taste is the saltiness. It's, it's gross. My disgusting pig-like mouth. I would say the chicken is overwhelming the flavor of the sandwich. And the reason being is not the chicken itself, but because it's bread, it's a fried chicken breast. So mostly all I can taste is the fried breading on the chicken itself. I don't really taste the burger. I couldn't taste the bacon. And I actually bit right into the piece of bacon too. I didn't taste any condiment or anything. I guess I'll take a second bite here. Let me fucking unleash the beast. That's it, I'm going beast mode. Ah! You feed, feed me more. Feed me Seymour, feed me. Holy fucking shit, relax. Some people just can't control themselves. Phil has gouty fat butt. Let's see if I can taste it any better. Devour. Devour. Mmm.
Oh my God, it's terrible. Finally, I did get a mouthful of meat that time. Oh, I got a mouthful of meat and a little bit of sauce. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, totally gay. Ugh. I'll be, I'll be honest, that bite wasn't so good. I got a little bit of mayo with onion, with again with this salt, salt, salt flavor. Ugh. And all it did it left this oniony, salty aftertaste in my mouth. The bun itself. I can't taste any difference from a normal Burger King bun. It pretty much tastes identical to a regular Burger King bun, so it must just be food coloring that makes the bun green. Um, and honestly, it's not very exciting. Like you would think for a burger that's supposed to look like Frankenstein monster, that it would, you know, uh, have some attraction to it, but like, you know what I would like on this? Honestly, some barbecue sauce or something. It's just very dry and salty. Instead of the mayo, a little bit of, because barbecue goes with chicken, barbecue goes with the burger. It makes those, instead of this piece of American cheese, give me a big slice of cheddar, right? A nice piece of cheddar with the chicken or the, 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 the burger itself would have tasted a lot better. It's like they went with the cheapest ingredients possible and charged you a crazy amount of money only because there's one burger along with with a, a, a chicken patty. I'll take one more bite and I'll give you my final verdict here. I'm trying to get everything in this bite. Devour. Devour. Mm. In all honesty, it's not very appetizing. And, you know, I've been around a block, block when it goes to fast food in the last decade that I've been doing DSP tries it. Um, it's not disgusting, don't get me wrong. It's not like the buttery Jack burger or some other things I've done in the past that were really gross. But just take a look at that. $7.30 for that. $7.30 at my local Burger King, may even be more expensive at yours, for something that just looks like they took the leftovers of other sandwiches and kind of threw it together. It's a mess. It's not very appetizing. It's too salty. The mayo doesn't go with it. The onion is out of place. Like I said, if you redesign this burger with some barbecue, some cheddar, this could be actually a good burger. But in my opinion, this sandwich, way overpriced, not appetizing. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not eating any more of it. Doesn't matter what he says or does, he is a liar. He is a blatant, habitual liar about everything. I couldn't eat any more of it. Too salty. It's a, in fact, we looked this up. Over a thousand calories for this sandwich. Over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. This is one of the saltiest things you can buy in modern fast food today. And to eat that is like really bad for you because there's so much salt in it. So after those bites, I'm done. I'm going to give the Nightmare King sandwich from Burger King a 2 out of 5. They are very high in acid. It's true acid levels for your body. So if you actually eat a lot, you're actually going to raise the natural acid level of your body and make yourself susceptible to diseases that have to do with acid, including one that I know to all too well, gout. Gout, 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 McFist, gout, fucking butt fuck, gout, farts, gout, gout, gout. Um, I learned the hard way, okay? How's the gout, Phil? Oh my god, here's okay, another so one. Clean. How's the gout, the Phil? Oh, wow. <laughs> another idiot. This is great. How's the gout? How's oh, the gout? Who was it? Hold on, I got, now I have to freaking manually mute it. How's that Seattle Air, Phil? Yes, I won't play a game, yes. Alright, yes. you will. Don't worry, you will. I just gotta find out who this idiot is now. Say it again. No, say it again. Say, how's that gout? Go ahead. How's that Seattle Air? Come on, say it again. I mean, you're so dumb, I know you'll say it again. Say it. Say, how's that gout? <laughs> Come on. So with the gout, I just got her. <laughs> with the gout. He's still saying it. With the gout. With the gout, with the gout. Oh, Perry, with the gout. Give me a cracker.
Wow. Now, what ended up happening was I ended up getting an acid level uh, imbalance back in 2015, which I didn't know I ever had, but apparently it's hereditary in my family because my aunt had it her whole life and didn't fucking tell anybody. Thanks, aunt. Feels the gabby fat, but feels the gabby fat, but. That's how bad I think it is. It's definitely overpriced. The flavors don't even go together. And it could have easily been better with a few different ingredients that even I could think of. Obviously, I don't know what they were thinking. I don't really like the Nightmare King. By the way, the other catch thing that they're saying in the ad for is it's supposed to give you nightmares when you eat it. So, if anything, I'm gonna have nightmares about how much money I fucking spent on it tonight. When I think about how I ate three bites and hated it, but outside of that, not very appetizing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the Nightmare King edition of DSP Tries It. I hope you enjoyed another DSP Tries It. I'll see you ah! next time.